Every culture has its own style and method of building houses, but nowadays, with modern technology, architects all over the world have the freedom of going off script completely, and the results are outstanding. From a house that looks straight out of a fairy tale to an entire property decorated with beer cans, here are the 20 most unusual houses in the world. Number 20. Luke Hill Meet the incredible middle school student who, instead of spending his free time watching television or playing video games, actually spent an entire year building his own home in his family backyard. Um, I have the safety things like fire extinguisher. Um. How's that for being a little overachiever? His bizarre home is located in Iowa, where his obsession with tiny little houses began after watching a YouTube video. Thankfully, his parents, Greg and Angie Hill, gave him the go-ahead when they realized their son was on a mission. And that he was. The outstanding 13-year-old spent $1,500 of his own money to build this tiny little house. His dad helped with the construction side of things, while his mom helped with the interior furnishing and design. Luke's sister and twin brother also helped by going around the neighborhood asking for reclaimed materials. He worked with exchange of services as well. For instance, one of his neighbors is a professional electrician, so Luke cleaned his entire garage in exchange of teaching him how to wire the house. People laughed at this house until they went inside, because even if this home is tiny, it is fully equipped with a TV, seating area, a mini fridge, and a fold-up dining table. Luke has become some of a local celebrity and is admired by all the other kids in the hood. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Skateboard House, Malibu, California If you're a skate enthusiast or even a skateboarder, this is the house of your dreams. Trust me. I mean, how would you like to live in a house that was designed to have skateboard ramps inside of it? This project is called the PAS House. The genius behind this brilliant idea is French designer Gilles Le Bon de la Pointe, and he managed to combine the concepts of a home and a skateboard park. Every single wall is a skate ramp, meaning the house has a peculiar oval shape to it, which means you can skate your way from your room to the kitchen and so on. You won't ever have to get off your skateboard. In this amazing design, everything is calculated and thought to be an experience for the skateboarder. First of all, you have a concrete ramp that goes down to the property and inside the house. There are three main spaces, the master bedroom, the kitchen, and the lounge, all three with integrated skate ramps on every wall. You can even skate your way around the house from room to room. How cool is that? The client of the project is Pierre Andre Senesguerre, hence the name PAS. He is a former world champion and pro skater. At this point, it wouldn't be surprising if every pro skater out there is on a waiting list for this house. Number 18. Transparent House in Tokyo Everybody would be appalled at the idea of living in a transparent house, right? I mean, the whole concept of owning your own house is to have privacy and intimacy. But the firm So Fujimoto Architects felt quite a bit adventurous when they designed the house Na. Which part do you like of the glass house? What do you like? This structure is absolutely out of the ordinary. The interior barely has any walls at all. But as crazy as it may sound, this house has a ton of very positive features that can't be overlooked. For example, the contemporary aesthetic will always stand out from many other houses on the street. The design seems to mimic a tree, so it's basically a really modern tree house for adults. And that's kind of cool. It also resembles a big bunk bed. It's a three-story edifice featuring various levels of living space. Oh, and the natural light on the house now is incredible as well, as the walls are basically windows. There are no definite floors. You can climb steps up and down that guide you from one modular space to the other. In other words, if someone is at the other side of the house, you would be able to see and hear them. Granted, this house isn't for everyone, but it is incredibly original and also, honestly, lots of fun. Number 17. The Steel House, Lubbock, Texas 
This wacky UFO shaped house is not from a set of a 60s sci-fi movie, no, it's actually a private residence in a suburban neighborhood in Ransom Canyon. It is located just 20 minutes outside of Lubbock, and it stands just across the street from rows of ordinary two-story houses. The structure is entirely made out of steel, and it's supported by four huge legs. You could even imagine it kind of running away at any minute. Some people call it the giant cicada or the multiple-story grand piano, and it's easy to see why. This house is many things, but boring isn't one of them. Depending on the perspective you look at it from, it seems to be balancing on the hillside overlooking Lake Ransom Canyon. The designer of this bizarre home is Robert Bruno, who is a very unconventional sculptor that handcrafted the house from 1973 until his death in 2008. Although the exterior is clearly only metal, the interior is a warmer and cozier wood. Being inside this house is kind of like being inside a tree trunk, and many of the windows are made of a beautiful stained glass that gives it a personal touch. Bruno had plans of installing an aquarium, a pool, and even the molding of nude models plastered on the walls. Yes, well, Bruno was a little eccentric. Number 16. The Carrot House, Poland Welcome to the narrowest house in the world. It was imagined and designed by the Polish architect Jacob Szczesny. The idea for such a project came from the will to fill the gaps between residential units so none of the space was wasted. His first project ever turned out to be the absolute most narrowest house ever built, measuring 1.22 meters wide at the widest point and 72 centimeters at its narrowest. Today, it is the residence of a Polish writer, Edgar Carrot, and he is extremely happy with his home. At first, he stated he was afraid to feel a little claustrophobic, but it turned out to be very comfortable. The entire structure was built out of iron off-site, and they had to slide it in with the help of a crane. The final design is a triangular residence with two floors in total, and inside you can find a bedroom, a kitchen, a bathroom, and a living area. Seems impossible, right? The house also has two windows, but sunlight can also enter through translucent panels. The entire house has retractable stairs that allows the resident to navigate the property with much ease. This is such an original home and a solution for a lot of people with a small budget. Number 15. The Hobbit House, Wales If you're a fan of The Lord of the Rings, this would be the perfect home for you. This house was built by Simon Dale in Wales. It was dubbed the Hobbit House by the press because of its resemblance to the homes in the Hobbiton village described in the famous Tolkien novels. In the Dale family, they're all ecologists and they try to live in harmony with the nature around them, creating the smallest ecological carbon footprint possible. Yeah, as well as showing the practicality of it, it shows something of the joy of the house was built with the utmost regards for the environment, and the only tools they used were a chainsaw, a hammer, and a one-inch chisel. How's that for eco-friendly? Not only is this house the most charming and cozy one you will ever see, but it was also ridiculously cheap to build. Simon built it with his father-in-law, and it took an estimated 1,000 to 1,500 man-hours and only 3,000 pounds in materials, which is roughly around 60 pounds per square meter. That is truly a bargain. It only took the Dale family four short months since the beginning of the works to be able to be fully moved in and operational. They aspire to spread the message that everyone can build an eco-friendly and gorgeous home with almost no budget. The only things you need are determination and good work ethic. Number 14. The Flintstones House, Malibu, California. Welcome to the Flintstones house. You can't really miss it. As you can see, it stands out quite a bit. It has soft domes of bright purple and orange color, and also there are gigantic dinosaur sculptures in the garden all around it. But this house wasn't born with the classic cartoon in mind. It was actually originally inspired by the Blue Mosque in Istanbul, Turkey, hence the domes. The architect wanted to recreate the amazing interior of the Great Mosque, so he decided to design a house from the inside out. That means it isn't just the exterior of the house that is eccentric and original, the interior is quite something to be 
behold as well. There are built-in stained glass windows pretty much everywhere you look. Every surface is soft and round. There are no hard edges anywhere. Very feng shui, if you ask me. Inside the tallest orange dome, there is a sitting area called the conversation pit, something very common back in the 60s. And the showers and bathrooms are made out of real stone. The house is filled with artwork and sculptures that were later added by the owner who bought the house for $2.8 million in 2017. This house is nothing like any other, so much so that town officials have filed a lawsuit declaring it a public nuisance. I guess it isn't to the taste of everyone. Number 13. Giant Seashell House, Mexico City this is the Nautilus home, and architect Javier Senocian designed it. As you can see, it looks exactly like a gigantic seashell from the outside. The interior was also designed staying true to the structure of a real-life seashell. Living here is like being in the Disney movie The Little Mermaid. It has a smooth facade that meets with a giant wall of colored mosaics that lights up the living space in a rainbow of colors. This style of architecture is called bio-architecture because it has the aim of existing in synesthesia with its surroundings and it gives an experience to the owner of living closer to nature. It has harmonious and original shapes meant to calm your spirit and your mind the instant you step foot in it. Bioarchitecture also rises from the belief that organic forms connect us back to our roots of living in harmony rather than in conflict. Once inside, every surface is organic and soft, and you feel like you're floating from one space to the other, almost like you're inside a maternal closure. You feel protected and cared for inside the seashell house, like if it's giving you a constant big hug. And who wouldn't want that, right? The owners are a young couple with two small children. They wanted to live following nature's principles of design and not those of mankind. And they found it. Number 12. Upside Down House, Tressenheide, Germany. This bizarre house was built in 2008 in the seaside resort of Trassenheide on the Pomeranian island of Usedom in Germany, and it is one of the most trippy houses you'll ever see. For starters, the only thing that isn't flipped on its head are the exterior stairs. Ironically, the stairs lead to the attic, which could also be considered the ground floor entrance. Yeah, I know, it's all very confusing, but that was the point of the upside down house. Once inside, prepare yourself to enter Bizarro World, maybe even lose your balance a little. Everything, and I mean everything, is inverted and hanging above you. Now you know what Spider-Man feels like when he hangs from ceilings. I mean, even the curtains are pinned in a specific way, so they look like gravity's just taken the day off and left it all belly up. And if the upside down thing wasn't enough to disorient you, the entire house is built on a 6% incline. You know, because otherwise it wouldn't be fun enough. If you look at this house from afar, it kind of looks like a tornado passed by the area and simply dropped it on its head. Number 11. The Toilet House, Suwon, South Korea. Did you know that South Koreans are a little bit obsessed with everything to do with toilets? It's a weird passion for sure, but a funny one as well. In South Korea, poop is actually a sign of good luck, apparently. Only in a country like that could you find a very luxurious house that looks like a gigantic toilet. Koreans often say that if you dream of poop, good things will happen to you. Legend has it, Koreans consider poop a positive thing because it transforms into fertilizer, which makes the crops grow stronger and crops feed people. All around the toilet house are sculptures of kids and people pooping, and every wall is also covered in different animals pooping as well. The house was originally owned by the mayor of the town, who was actually born in a toilet. Instead of being ashamed of that fact, this man built a toilet house to show everyone how proud he was. He started life in a toilet, and he wanted to finish it in one as well. Today, the toilet house is a museum of everything poop. There are archaeological pictures of how toilets used to look in Korea throughout the years, and loads of info about the evolution of the toilet. Number 10. Egg House, Beijing, China. The Chinese architecture scene has been dealing with the extremes for quite some time, particularly the Beijing one. This 24-year-old architect couldn't afford the insane rents of the city that he was helping to shape, so he took the matter into his own hands. Meet Dai Heifai and his $964 sleep pod that he designed. 
As you can see, he was clearly inspired by the shape of an egg. He even called this project the city's egg when he entered it at the 2010 Shanghai Biennale exhibition. The little cocoon is two meters high at its tallest point and is built on a bamboo frame, which is very ecological and also cheap. The Chinese winter can be quite unforgiving, so he decided to use wood chips as insulation, and in the exterior, he used what looks like cut-up sleeping bags. But in reality, the exterior can be used for planting grass seeds, and once they sprout, they will cover the entire egg and add more insulation to the home. Dai Haifei was also concerned about the carbon footprint, and so he added a solar panel to his invention. Inside, there's only space for a bed, a water tank, and a small night table. Only the bare necessities are necessary when you're out working all day. Number 9. Coetios El Alto, Bolivia Welcome to the Coetios House, which in Spanish translates to the Spaceship House. And if you take a quick look around, you'll quickly see why it really merits that name. The architect that designed it is Freddy Mamani Silvestra. He was going for a new Andean look, but he ended up having a very kitschy and colorful, extravagant urban mansion instead. This house was part of a very special project to bring traditional Andean and Tiwanaku cultures into the urban setting. Where before, you could only see monochromatic, boring houses for as far as the eye could see, now you have postmodern Native American revived architecture. He always uses the colors present in the oeos, which is the type of fabric that mothers carry their children in. More and more houses like this one are popping up in Bolivia in an effort to give back the voice and exposure to the ancestral cultures that have been there since before Christopher Columbus showed up in his big Spanish ship. And the style seems to be spreading well. Mamani now has projects all over the world, including prestigious places like Paris, New York, Miami, and California. Number 8. Shark Attack Home, Headington, Oxford Back in 1986, on the evening of a nice spring day in April, Bill Hine was proudly sitting on the steps opposite his recently purchased house in Oxford, England. He was drinking a glass of wine when he turned to his friend and asked him a seemingly innocent and simple question. Hey, could you do something to liven it up? Nobody could have foreseen how much that short question would change an entire street forever. Because his friend, the sculptor John Buckley, decided to answer it with a 25-foot shark which would sit on the roof of that house, perpetually looking as if it had just crashed into the house from the sky. The gigantic fish is made out of fiberglass, and it made a huge commotion within seconds of being installed. But England, being England, decided to throw all the power of its legal counsel at the fish, which resulted in a long six-year battle with Bill Hine. But many architects and engineers pronounced the fish structurally safe over the years, so the city council eventually had to bow down. The Headington shark turned a very unremarkable street into a beloved local landmark, and it will forever go down in history as one of the most notable triumphs of British eccentricity over petty bureaucracy. Number 7. S House, Saitama, Japan Guess what? Japan made yet another transparent house. Yeah, although the concept may be hard to accept, for some, apparently it's becoming something of a trend there. Welcome to the S House, a structure that wants to mess with your sense of space and, well, intimacy. While in the pictures you could maybe guess that this house has three stories, it actually has a very complex web of living spaces that force you to go through a long detour to get where you want to go. So basically, all the floors look visually adjacent, but in reality, the flow of this house is made in such a way that it requires you to travel long distances within the structure. As a result, the S House disturbs your common sense of three-dimensional depth and sense of distance. The architects that designed it were inspired by the complex systems like the infosphere, such as the internet. This kind of architecture realizes a network of complex levels, which means that multiple layers are networked and layered over one another. This house may look relatively small, but in reality, it requires you to navigate it in such a way that it becomes quite big big, completely messing with the laws of physics of the outside world. Number 6. Gehost House, Delm, France 
This strange looking structure is actually the contemporary art center of Delm, France, and the Gehost House is a gallery visitor center. At first look, you may quickly realize the clear spectral exterior, or maybe the idea of the future they had back in the 60s. In any case, this building stands out in its originality and its comically ghost-like appearance. When the people at the art center were trying to redevelop its grounds, they started to look for private proposals. Enter famous French artists and architects Christophe Berdiguer and Marie Pejus, who were very interested in the long and eventful history of the building. It had previously been a prison, a school, and a few funeral home. So they got inspired. Hundreds of people from all walks of life had been passing within its four walls for decades. Ghosts, if you will. So what better way to depict and honor that history than to turn the entire building into a ghost itself? They covered it with blocks of polystyrene, giving it its chunky form. They then covered the whole thing with two coats of sprayed polyurethane resin, providing it with a solid and waterproof skin. The name came from the worldly famous French artist Marcel Duchamp and his characteristic wordplay. A guest plus a host equals a ghost. And because of the building's new role as a visitor center, combining both together, it became the Ghost House. Number 5. Water Tower Conversion Water towers are amazing structures. They're majestic and they stand taller than every other structure around them. That is why architect Mauro Brigham of Bomb Design Studio had the genius idea of refurbishing one into a home in the year 2007. The tower is 30 meters high and is located in Belgium. It has been dubbed the Chateau d'Eau, which in French translates to water castle. The original structure was built between 1938 and 1941, which meant that it needed a lot of repairing to be done, as well as complete insulation to make it inhabitable. The result is absolutely amazing. Which used to be home to 250,000 liters of water is now a high-tech contemporary residence with a gorgeous main shore, which is where the water used to be stored, and it even has a panoramic terrace. It has six stories in total and has all the amenities a normal house does, including a magnificent spiral central staircase that runs from the first floor to the top floor. It also comes with the latest IT technology and advanced home automatics that control anything from the intensity and color of the lights to the temperature of each room separately. Number 4. Beer Can House Meet John Milkovich, a retired upholsterer for the Southern Pacific Railroad who started this insane and amazing project back in 1968. It all began when John got sick of mowing the grass, so the only solution he came up with was to completely cover the entire front and back yard. He decided to inlay thousands of marbles, rocks, and metal pieces into redwood and concrete to form these original, whimsical, and unique landscaping features. After that was all done, he continued with the house itself by adding aluminum siding, more specifically aluminum beer can siding. He also got a little adventurous and made garlands out of beer cans that he hung from the roof edges. This not only made the entire house sing to the wind every time a breeze touched him, but it also significantly lowered the family's energy bills. A win-win situation if you ask me. This house has become a monument to recycling all over the world, and it's estimated that over 50,000 cans were used to complete it. John never considered his house a work of art. He rather saw it as an entertaining hobby or pastime, but he always really enjoyed people's reaction when they saw his house for the first time. He said, it tickles me to watch people screech to a halt. They get embarrassed. Sometimes they drive around the block a couple of times. Later, they come back with a carload of friends. Number 3. Goose Creek Tower this peculiar and very tall house has been dubbed as the Dr. Seuss house, and it's easy to see why. It looks like it belongs in a children's book. This gorgeous house is hidden away in the sparse woods just outside of Takitna in Alaska. The architect that designed this whimsical and fantastical house is called Widener, and he originally only planned on building a two-story log cabin. Although at some point in the process, he let his engineering degree take over and decided to add another floor, and then another one, and then some more. The result is, depending on how you look at it, a house with some between 14 to 17 floors. And that's because to climb to the top of the Goose Creek Tower, you can take either staircases or even climb. The construction took two decades to complete because Widener is also one of the top trial lawyers in Alaska, so he was understandably very busy all the time. Sadly, this marvel of engineering is a private property and is no longer open to explorers. But because of its outstanding height, you can get a very clear view of it from the road. Number 2. 
Brooklyn Clock Tower Home If you're looking for the wow factor, this is the perfect house for you. The Brooklyn Clock Tower House is a stunning triplex penthouse that overlooks the Brooklyn Bridge and the New York Harbor. The main floor of this amazing property has not one, but four working clocks embedded in 14-foot round windows. And for the old doll fans out there, it even has a glass elevator at the center of it. The space is very open and illuminated, which makes it perfect for entertaining. The interior has a hint of industrial aesthetic combined with the utmost luxurious design architecture can offer. The penthouse has three floors and all the amenities a home needs. It even has a bathroom at the very top with one of the best views in New York City. There's also a comfortable large balcony right on top of the Hudson River, perfect to kick back, relax, and enjoy looking at the boats drive past. This really is the home of a superhero. Overlooking the Big Apple, you feel like you're at the top of the world. Number 1. Mushroom House of Rochester, Pittsford, New York This is an eclectic and organic architectural gem in the middle of the woods of New York right outside of Pittsford. What at first sight may look like a series of gigantic extraterrestrial fungi looming up from the green and lush forest is in reality a very unique private residence. This fanciful and surreal home was designed by architect H. Johnson for Robert and Marguerite Antel. And no, they're not a couple of fairies, they are very real people. Oh, this house is definitely what everyone thinks of when they think of the house of a fairy. The construction started in 1970, and the four and a half pods are made out of concrete and polyurethane. They stand on 14 20-foot stems constructed of steel-reinforced concrete. Mrs. Antel is actually a potter, so she was very much involved in the process, and she also handcrafted and fired over 9,000 ceramic tiles, which are found throughout the property. The house is now owned by Stephen Whitman, the son of Marguerite's cousin, who added a time tunnel inspired by the style of Catalan architect Antoni Gaudi. This tunnel leads to a a cave that features a pool table, a bar, a mosaic fireplace, and laminated mahogany tree sculptures, as well as a media center. I don't know about you, but I had no idea there were so many different ways of creating a living space. Out of all these amazing homes, which one would you see yourself living in? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!